What was supposed to be a quick trip turned into a nightmare in orbit. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were left stranded in space for nine long months. The return capsule, Boeing Starliner, kept failing, turning their eight-day mission into a marathon of uncertainty. That's when NASA decided to switch to SpaceX craft. Stuck in the vast emptiness of space, the two astronauts could only wait and hope. When rescue finally came, it wasn't just a smooth ride home. It was a fight for survival. SpaceX Crew Dragon rode through the atmosphere, encased in a glowing fireball as temperatures hit nearly 2000 degrees Celsius. One glitch, one minor error, and the capsule could have been vaporized in seconds. But the Dragon held strong, protecting the astronauts as it plunged toward Earth. The drama didn't end there. As the capsule splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, a surprise greeting awaited. Dolphins. Yes, a pod of dolphins playfully swam around the capsule as rescue teams rushed in. A moment of beauty amidst the chaos, as if nature itself was welcoming the heroes home. Williams and Wilmore's dramatic return capped a mission filled with uncertainty and technical troubles. The astronauts had launched in June 2024 aboard Starliner, expecting to return in just eight days. But repeated failures in Starliner's propulsion system led to months of delays. Finally, NASA decided to bring them home on SpaceX Crew Dragon as part of its regular crew rotation. On March 18, the astronauts undocked from the International Space Station alongside two other crew members, ending their 17-hour journey with a safe splashdown off Florida's Gulf Coast. After nearly 300 days in microgravity, their bodies had weakened. Williams and Wilmore were too frail to even stand. The capsule was hoisted aboard a recovery boat. Rescue teams gently lifted them out on stretchers, their faces pale and their bodies exhausted. But even then, they managed to smile, knowing they had made it home alive. And just when it seemed the story was over, the political drama erupted. Donald Trump claimed he personally asked Elon Musk to bring the astronauts home, accusing Joe Biden of abandoning them. Musk backed Trump's story, saying his offer to help was rejected. But NASA was quick to respond, calling the claims purely political. They insisted the delay was all about safety and not politics. You can see we work for the president and who's ever there, um, we work for them. Uh, we had an input from that office, we took a look at it, um, and you know, our job is to take all the inputs we get and operate as successful and safely as we can. And that's what we would did for this administration and that's what we would do for any administration. For Williams and Wilmore, this was more than just a delayed homecoming. It was a battle against time, technology, and the limits of human endurance. From a fierce re-entry to a dramatic ocean rescue, their journey back to Earth is a story of courage, perseverance and the will to survive. As news of their safe return spread, celebrations erupted across the globe, from NASA control rooms to family living rooms. There were tears of joy, cheers of relief and hearts filled with gratitude. For Sunita Williams' family, it was an emotional homecoming. Months of worry and prayers finally answered. Her loved ones said they never lost hope and now they couldn't be prouder.